What up, folks? I am Ultrazilla, and I'm here with Ultrazilla Jr., and we're at the Cradle of Aviation Museum for CradleCon.
Here we are at Mutaki Fest. See you later, Cradle Con. And we're back from Cradle Con. Uh, it was pretty good. What'd you think? It was really good. Really love that museum. It's such an awesome museum on its own, you know, without a con there. But the con is pretty good. They put on a good show. Nice mix of some comics, lots of toys. Well, lots of toys? But some good toys. I don't know about yeah, lots of toys, toys, but good toys. Uh, uh, there was a lot of cosplay, right? There's a tiny, tiny but it was very good. Yeah, the toys I saw, like, there was a few things that I saw that I was just like, Wow, I can't believe uh, that they had it there. Um, like Galaxy Prime, uh, I really wanted it, but it was a little bit out of what I wanted to spend on it. And the guy I was supposed to like make a deal with wasn't at the table at the time, so I was like, forget it. Uh, but then, I was able to get something I've always wanted. And it's uh, Serpentera from Mighty Morphin Power yeah, Rangers. Yeah, this is beautiful. Wait, is this real gold? It's gold. Uh, I was able to talk Wait, down the seller. Wait, is it real? It's not real gold, no. It's just chrome plated. Uh, I was able to talk down the the um, the seller. So from what his original price, by about ten bucks. But uh, you know, it is what it is. I'm, <laughs> you know. I'm really happy to have it, and it's in really good shape, which is great. That's the, That was the thing that really made me want to have it, is because I've seen it a million times on eBay, but how do you know how it's going to, like, arrive and, you know, the exact shape of it? Uh, this one is actually pretty good. The gold is really nice still. The stickers are pretty much still intact for the most part, so I'm very happy with that. Again, something I've always... Want. And then uh, from our pals at Muteki, who uh, was uh, displaying there, I finally picked up this, you know, the Gundam Exia, which recently I got the Exia Trans Am edition, the Target exclusive. But this uh, Rando boys had these, well, this one so for a while for me. Uh, Heavy Arms and Freedom Gundam were the other two. I already had those from him. For whatever reason, uh, Bluefin got this one super, super late. So I just never picked it up from them. So it was good to pick this up. And I picked up one other thing that had come in. And you might be like, Ultrazilla, didn't you have this already? You're right, I did have this already. So stay tuned. Why do I have this again? This SH Monsarts Mega Godzilla 2021. Hmm. Then we stopped by uh, Walmart on Target. Target, we didn't see anything. Right? I didn't see anything that I really wanted at Target. I'm kind of bored with Target, to tell you the truth. But Walmart, we never go to. Um, and I finally, this dog is, there's a dog here in the video. Um, finally, there is a dog here. There is a dog here. <laughs> um, finally saw these figures, these Lantern uh, Aliens and Predators 7 inch figures. Never seen them before in person. Um, so I picked up two of them. I got the Berserker Predator and the runner alien so they had everything except um the warrior xeno but to that, tell you the truth i just was, didn't feel like getting more the, than two the, of them this one was cool. yeah so two of them just to check out on the channel probably we'll probably review them but together does xeno stand for xeno more yes so i got those two and then one last target ex uh, target walmart exclusive uh that i got there something i saw somebody post about a while back that's the uh, Adventure Force Exosaur 2.0, but this thing looks amazing, like a Wait, can I, Cyber can Zilla. I have that one? I don't know about that. <laughs> uh, Mecha Godzilla type. Looks amazing. It looks like Grimlock. It looks, yeah. You know what? It does look a little Grimlocky. I am noticing that it's a little scratched up over here, but this was the only one there. We can make sounds. <sighs> who makes this? I don't know who makes this one. Is this? I don't know. Who makes Adventure Force? I've seen a million of these toys, but I don't know who, who makes them. Is it a show? I don't think so. It's just ex like these exclusive toys that Walmart gets. Like Lantern toys, like the, the Aliens and Predator stuff. Um, 
It's one of these type of companies. Chat May, maybe. Wait, what does normal? What does the normal version look like? I have no idea, but this looked amazing. Something I always, uh... Yeah, the tooth. Something I always seen. Yeah, there's something on the tooth. It looks like a little excess paint or something. But, there you go. And that's it. That was uh, our uh, little little haul from today's outing. It was pretty fun to go to Cradle Con. Oh, no, wait, Honestly, we haven't been to a con since before before times, you know what I'm saying? So this was the first con that uh, me and Ultrazilla went to in I, quite I a while. I saw something on here. You saw something on here? It's like... Walking action. Very cool. So, well, how's that supposed to go? Uh, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. But there you go, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. And, um, yeah, hopefully, you know, we'll do more con videos as the year goes on and uh, we get to more cons again but it was really good to, to to go again it was a lot of fun thanks for watching till next time peace out peace.